Hey guys, it's Jai from Being Mommy with Style, and we're doing another old fashioned grocery haul today, or it's kind of like a Target haul. So, if you've been with me for a while, you know that back in the day, I used to do like the whole like laying out on the floor hauls and all that. But anyhow, today we're gonna do it on the island because it seems to work out pretty well. And I went to Target, it's a mix mash of food with some household stuff. They're starting to clear out, so it clears out like sandals and stuff like that. So I found a pair of sandals in my size, which is like the style that I wear a lot, and also a pair of Natalie's size, which are like the little jelly ones that she likes a lot. So I picked up those, they were really good prices. And then also I had to pick up some things tomorrow at school. We're doing like a um, apple day and I'm bringing in water and crackers and cheese. We can bring stuff in as long as it's like packaged and contained and all that. So I'm bringing that in for the kids as well as I picked up an additional bag of apples because the teacher is supposed to be sending out an email today telling the kids to bring in their own apple tomorrow and they're like going to weigh it and measure it and I don't know what else. But um, I'm bringing in some extras just in case. So I picked up all that today and then today um, as far as like doing a vlog there, you know, we have Girl Scouts tonight and like again it's not vloggable so um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> My whole life has become not vloggable, but um, I am going to do some more fall decorating. So hopefully you guys have seen the fun projects that I've been working on doing like specific areas. Hopefully some of those videos have posted by now. If they haven't, they'll be posted shortly because if they haven't, you have no clue what I'm talking about. But um, I had fun doing those. So those were kind of my focus last week. So now I'm going to go ahead and start working on the rest of the house and getting, you know, a little bit out here and there. I've already put some things out outside. I'd like to get one of those like long wood boards. Um, and I've looked at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Kirkland's. And I think the one, it's, it's and at home. I think the one that I'm leaning towards for fall, because the one at home was Halloween specific. And I'm really wanting one that's fall just general and the one at um, Hobby Lobby said harvest instead of welcome and I think I'm leaning towards that one because I already have a ceramic pumpkin out there that says welcome and so I think that putting a wood sign next to like on the other side of the door that says welcome would be redundant so I think I'm leaning towards the wood one at Hobby Lobby that says harvest and then that area will be done but I just have a few things to put out here and there and get some more decorating done that's general fall. So I will be sharing that in the video, like a general fall decor tour, how I usually do, and I will probably be posting that towards the end of the week this week. But I will show you what I got at Target. And like I said, it's kind of really just a mishmash of food, household, and random, etc. Okay, so here is everything from Target and Sephora. And I stopped by Sephora on the way home because I needed to test out a foundation, which I'm testing out right now. It looks a little orange on the camera, actually. But anyhow, um, they discontinued my favorite foundation, so by Laura Mercier. So I'm trying to find a, a different one to replace that. But this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow I use as my base sin. And I got one of those, and then they stopped carrying buxom glosses inside the store. You can still order them online, but that was sad. And I needed to pick up a gloss today, so I got this Sephora gloss, and I'll just replenish my buxom glosses online, I guess. And so then this is from Target Canada Dry. These are the things that I picked up for the apple thing tomorrow. There's two bags of apples, um, a container of like this kid sized drinking water some Ritz crackers, and these individually packaged cheeses. I got two Then for our own like groceries and food around the house, I got a milk, I got some more of this zero calorie sweetener. My husband is very into coffee now since we got the Keurig. It's been working out really, really well for us, by the way. And he got this donut shop dark coffee, and I got this Green Mountain cinnamon sugar cookie coffee to try. Some Star Wars Cheez-Its for the kids, fruit and cream, uh, oatmeal for everyone. A Hawaiian style pizza. I got some sweet tea for my sweet tea maker. My husband's oatmeal cream pies. I had to get some more Opti Free. This is like my contact solution. I got one of these overnight oats to try since we've all been so into like the oatmeal lately. Grapes and carrots and some go go squeezes. And then my coffee mate for my coffee. And I think that that's all the food. And then for household stuff, I just got some of these wedges. This is what I use to apply my moisturizer at night and in the morning. And then some of these, this is what I use for my toner. 
I got my husband some deodorant, me some deodorant. <laughs> I think we do use more deodorant down here, just as a side note. And then aftershave gel for him. Alcohol, I use this to clean off my brushes, but actually since we've been down here with the pool, I also just sometimes put a cap full into my ear, like if you get swimmer's ear, you know, like if the ear, if your ear gets clogged up with water. I don't know if anyone has ever done that, but I, I did that as a kid, because I would swim a lot as a kid, and if you get water stuck in your ear, if you just put like a little, not even a cap full, like a half cap full of alcohol in your ear, you know, just turn it, it hits the water, breaks it up, and then you just turn your head to the side and... Um, you know, the water runs out. I'm not sure if like literally everyone in the world knows that or if like uh, people are going to be like, oh, you're weird. I can't believe you put alcohol in your ear. But anyways, it works. So either everyone in the world knows this already or if it, you're new to this, it really does work. So just a little, you know, a couple drops of alcohol, put it in your ear and it gets the water out. Anyhow, these are the shoes that I got for Natalie. I think she's going to love these. They're like super sparkly. These like shoes, and honestly, it's so hot down here. They're practically year-round shoes. And then for myself, I got these. They're the woven like pewter. It's right up my alley. And these were only on clearance for $7.98. And Natalie's were like $6, $6.48. So pretty good prices there. Then I had to get a bag of entertainment supplies to go to our favorite place, if you can probably guess, based on the theme of this for our Disney World trip upcoming. And I will be sharing packing videos for that. But I grabbed some glow, glow necklaces for the Halloween party for people to wear. I got two of these Zoom Zoom play packs. I thought these were fun. They come with stickers and markers actually in these. And then a coloring thing so the kids will love that they come with markers because they can make a bigger mess with those. I picked up this Imagining. This is the only one our Target had. I'm going to try to find a second one. But this is the first time I've seen Elena of Avalar Imagining. So this was in the dollar section. $3. Awesome find. I got some of these. Those are just a random thing to have now. I got some Trident gum for my husband. And then I got, just in case I wasn't able to find one of these Imagine Inks, I will give this to Natalie. And then I got this little, Bella's been very into like journaling and sketching and that sort of thing. So I got this Zoom Zoom book that has just like blank paper that she can kind of journal her trip. So... We're starting to get ready. I'm, I've got to finish ordering the rest of our costumes today on Amazon, actually. And I've already gotten the kids' costumes. I think I showed that in a video last week. If I didn't show it in a video, I showed it on Instagram. And um, we're starting to get things ready. So I will have some videos coming up pretty soon talking about our plans and talking about what parks we're going to be doing. Just and turn it around since I'm just standing here yammering. I'm very excited about seen Pandora in its completed state because last time when I saw it, it was just a construction zone still um, close to being done but still a lot of construction and so I'm excited about seeing Pandora for the first time all of us riding the rides so that should be really exciting trying the treats trying the food and then also Mickey's not so scary Halloween party thank you to Disney they're hosting us to go to the Halloween party so we're excited about that as well and um, we're going to be trying the treats, going to the treating, and seeing characters, and having a spectacular, not so scary time. So we're very excited about the trip, and it is coming up very quickly. So, like I said before in previous videos, you'll see the packing and planning videos, and then there'll be vlogs from each individual activity. So if we have like a character meal and that sort of thing, I like to separate those out so people searching specifically for that event or that type of experience in the future can find those. And it does much better that way rather than having everything in one kind of collaborative, collective uh, vlog. I think I did the very first trip I vlogged. I think I did collective vlogs, but then I would people would ask like, did, "Have you done such and such? Have you done such and such?" And I'd have to send them like this huge long. It was like twenty something minutes vlog, and so and then I felt bad. And so ever since then, I've separated it out, and it works really, really well. So that is the plan for Disney vlogs, and. You know, it's almost October. I can't believe it. It's almost October. So that's what's going on with us. I'll be doing a couple day in the life this week. Um, I probably tried to do a couple chatty videos and then also the fall decor tour. So we starting to lessen on the day in the life. So you guys got a good run this summer after we move. You got a good run a day in the life. But I'll be starting to lessen them to get ready for our trip. And then we'll be vlogging daily on our trip. And then... We'll see what happens from there. So that is it for today. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.